Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be testing out a Western Digital 14 terabyte DC HC 530. And the exact model number of it is WUH 721414ALE604. I'm going to test this hard drive out in a Drobo to see if the Drobo will actually power it up and if it'll work properly. That way it'll give me an additional 14 terabytes of space. So stay tuned and you'll see if this will work for me. Hey everybody, okay, so I have the Western Digital 14 terabyte DC HC530 right here. And it's the model number that ends with 604. I'll include it down below in the description. So take a look down there if you want to order this same model. So I'm going to test this out in Drobo to see if it'll work. Now again, this is a brand new drive. It's never been used before. And I'm opening it up for the first time. So I'm going to take it out of the plastic. Go ahead and open up the front of the Drobo right here. Again, I don't know if you'd watch my previous video, but I'm going to take these pins right here and I'm going to put them towards the back on the left side of the Drobo. And I'm going to have the label facing the right side of the Drobo. And I'm going to pull down on this lever and start putting the drive in. I'm going to push it about that far and then I'm going to let go of the lever and I'm going to push it the rest of the way with my hand. Awesome. Okay, now that we've got that in there, we're going to wait and see if it actually boots up. And if it goes green, then we're good. Then that means that hard drive will actually work in the Drobo. So keep watching and we'll see if it goes green. Okay, so it appears, and this is one thing that I had a little concern about, is that this drive actually requires, it has the PWDIS feature. And it actually requires for you to use a special cable that will take the 3.3 volts out of pin number three. You can watch my previous video. I'll include a link to it right up here. And if you'll watch that, it'll go through all about what PWDIS is. But that means that this drive will not actually work in the Drobo. But that's perfectly fine because I can use this drive in a bunch of other external enclosures and take those drives and put it in the Drobo. But this 14 terabyte will work perfect for other situations that I need. Thanks so much, everybody. I hope that was entertaining for you and you enjoyed seeing if that Western Digital 14 terabyte hard drive would actually work in a Drobo. Um, I had quite a few of these, so I hope that was helpful. Thanks so much, and please like and subscribe. Until next time, bye.